Hey everybody, we are back and today we're going to be talking about Espeon. Now, I think Espeon has one of the most underrated movesets in the game right now. Usually when I run Espeon, I'm playing Future Sai and Psy Shock, but upon seeing Sinsu from Team UG play recently, I have been inspired to try out the Psy Beam Store Power Tech. And holy moly, I think it has some incredible potential. I am no means an Espeon main, but within 4 or 5 games, I was able to drop over 130 thousand damage um, and I thought I'll show you guys this game so that potentially you guys can try it out too. Now the items I'm using for Espeon are Wise Glasses, Choice Becks and Energy Amplifier and for those interested my emblem set is just a regular um, black and green for cooldown and special attack on um, this little this little evolution. I really like Espeon because it gets its power spike so early at 4 as do the other evolutions which allows you to play quite offensive early game, um, especially if your jungler is thinking of a gank, um, you can really put up the heat, um, or defend really well uh, if you don't get ganked and your enemy team decides to gank your lane. Okay, so at F50, we're just trying to get as many birds as possible. I'm already four, I've got my power spike, so our job here is just to defend it, um, because our jungler went bottom, so we just don't want to lose the top pad over here. Serena and I do pretty well, and I'm just here a vibing, uh, looking to see whether we can uh, get as many levels as possible. Now, you also get Unite at 8, so if you do play um, quite well, you will be able to get that by the first objective. Um, and which potentially will, you know, turn the tide for an objective fight, because your Unite CCs everybody in that little circle. I am just trying to defend here, it seems. <laughs> Try my best. Store power is also quite an interesting move. It is not like other dashes where you can just dash when nobody's around. You do need a target to be able to proc that move, um, which makes it really good when you've got enemies around because you can constantly move side to side and kite any uh, damage dealers. But if you're just by yourself and trying to get to an objective faster, you will not be able to um, use that move to, you know, dash forward or um, into that direction that you want. I didn't manage to kill the Pupitar there, which was quite unlucky. Uh, they were pretty pretty low, but I think they XP'd it out of there. Um, I'm a, I'm really low now, so I'm just trying to stay I'm trying to stay out of the fight here. The enemy team pushes me here, and I, I don't think I can defend this. I'm just trying my best. But um, the good sign is, if the enemy's up here, we can probably do bottom faster without too much trouble, and then uh, potentially get that XP. Uh, game for the whole entire team if we get that bottom Reggie here. Okay. I think Serena goes down here again. But we do manage to pick one off and we're we're gonna try to stay alive here. There were four people up top so we should be doing bottom quite easily here with not a lot of trouble. And yep, we get the Reggie Rock which means we get um, a level buff for everybody. A bit of XP I guess. And we should be heading up top here um, once everyone groups up here. I'm not sure why I stayed in that spot for so long. I think I might have, might have been AFK spamming. So I'm, I'm coming up top now. I am very close to my Unite, but I do... I am, I think, a little bit late here. I just came out Unite here, but I remember being CC for next week. Uh, so I wasn't able to <laughs> Unite at all. Never mind. I get um, ping to go down bottom just in case they, uh, they push off lane. So I'm just going to here. Trying to get you know, my levels. Trying to get any farm that's on the... On the map just in case uh, they do push down here. Turns out that they just all commit top uh, which means I just get middle birds for free. I want to talk a little bit about Psybeam for those that don't really know. I didn't know how it really worked until recently. Now Psybeam does additional damage depending on the HP of the initial target that you're hitting so it is incredibly strong if you're playing against a team with a lot of bulky front lines, such as a T-Tile, such as Clefable maybe, or Slowbro, because you can really maximize your damage output that way. When you upgrade Psybeam, something cooler happens. If your um, Pokemon that you're initially targeting is CC'd, the Residue Psybeam will actually pass on the, the CC stun on the other enemies that's hit by it. So, you can imagine how you can CC an entire team by just one move of side beam uh, if your team manages to stun the first person they're hitting, which I think is super cool. I, I, I never knew about that mechanic until now. 
Now, I do not heal. We pick up the t tap which is fantastic. But the Dragon Breath kills me here, which is a little bit unfortunate. But three dead. We've got four people remaining. A massive hoop out here allows me to secure the bottom of the slow bro as well. So, awesome. Team's doing really, really well. Uh, it is very good to see teamwork in solo queue games. It is really, it puts faith back in humanity for me, <laughs> I think. Okay, so the top leggy is, um, has spawned again, so we're going to head up here. But in hindsight, I think I got a little bit distracted with the Tita here. We had three people. I probably should have just head up top, try to help the team here. But um, we did make it up top. They do it very, very quickly because they had Dragapult, and I just died to Dragapult here. Yep. Yeah. I'm just... Just uh, auto locked by the little dreepies on the drag pole's head. That's alright though. Um, now they, they get the second lucky and it's kind of deja vu. I'm sent bot lane again, just in case they push. And they do this time compared to the, the first round. Um, and I'm, I'm just a little evolution yet again, sending it off. Sebai comes here to help. And the good thing is, none of the damage healer back them up here, so it's just a quick favor when slow bro, so we were able to keep them both up here. So definitely a very good call for me to go bot lane to try to defend that because they, they don't get any easy scores um, and we get them first as well so we definitely do have sort of the level lead here and my job here is just trying to protect us in the race from that t-tar i'm um, using my unite move now yeah this is where i back and then i realize that oh bot objectives coming out in 20 seconds so i just, just straight up jump back uh to bottom here waiting for that Third objective here. It is getting a little bit close to a Rayquaza now. And I'm just AFK, it seems. I think someone might have joined the VC, so I was like checking who it was. Um, but we're back. Now, this Unite move, watching in hindsight, probably wasn't it, considering how close we are to Rayquaza. But we do manage to pick up one here. Um, and I'm just trying to target Cybeam on the team that comes to me. Because... That has the most amount of HP, that's going to be able to maximize my damage here. We pick off three over here, which is incredibly good for us. I do have energy amp, but I still think that that ult was a little bit too close for comfort. Because I definitely will not have it back by the start of this fight here um, at Rayquaza. Now, we do have the register buff though, so I guess um, we kind of have the amp effects um, anyway. Now, on our team, we don't have a lot of frontline. It's really just Serena. So, um, I'm just thinking in my head, we got to target the T-Tar, target the Slowbro with our side beam, and then constantly jump left and right or, or forward backwards to try to maximize our stall power usage as well. You can see our Serena did fantastic here, being our frontline, and we were able to wipe um, the whole team here with our damage that was circling around the enemy. So, that was a really good raid fight. Very impressed by my team. Um, Quite a clean, uh, I guess, wipe there for us, and we just get Rayquaza because they they aren't back yet. Um, and we yeah we get to score here. I'm pretty sure my Psy Beam got that Rayquaza, and Rayquaza is another good target to hit with Psy Beam because of so much HP. Um, so definitely a very fun Pokemon target. I get my Unite back here, but I'm really using it to go back. Um, but here's where I want to show you guys how much damage I'm doing with Psy Beam. Look at the Clefable's health when I hit the Rayquaza with Psy Beam. I just shred that. I shred it so hard. Um, and yet here again, I think after... Yeah, when I hit the Blissey with my side beam, I kill the T-Tar here. Look at this. Wow. That's a residue side beam doing that much damage. That's pretty insane if you, if you ask me. Um, but yeah, there's the end of the game. I get a nice little slap by Clefable um, to end it off. Fantastic. But there we, there we have it. I, I, I think I'm very lucky to be able to um, try this out build because 135, holy moly. Good job, team. But thank you guys so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll be back with regular videos very soon. Take care, guys.